All right, welcome back. Here's another edition of Scratch Tutorials. Um, this one is about making your own block using the more blocks here. So I often have students um, just want to try things, and that's awesome. That's the best way to learn Scratch, I think. But they get into this more blocks, and they try make a block, and they put something in like maybe we'll call this one jump. And they think just because they call it jump that all of a sudden we have this jump block. And now, first of all, they might get a little confused because it has it here, we have it here, I could even put in a jump block, and fact is, it won't do a thing because we haven't really defined it. So defining it's kind of confusing. Now, in coding, I would call this a function. Um, it's the idea that if you would have this character jumping a lot, it would be nice to define it here, explain what it's going to do, have the coding for the jump here, and then any time we want it to jump, we can just use this block. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start with, if I want this character to jump from any position, I can't really use a glide. I simply want to have its y coordinates go up by 10. And I put in a repeat 10, so it goes up, 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 up 10 times um, in little increments of 10. And then I'm going to do the same thing to get it to come back down. So again, I'm going to change the y, but this time we're going to change it by a negative 10. So to see this, I can click on this. You can see what it's going to do. OK, so it actually runs that. Now, the fact is to get Scratch Cat to do that in his programming, I need this block here. So because I put that there, because now essentially what it does when it sees jump is it goes to this and it says, OK, I'm going to do all that. And then it goes back to the rest of the programming. So it should make him jump. I want to make him jump multiple times. I could just use the block multiple times. I could also put it in a repeat. Um, so nice and easy. I could use that very quickly wherever I wanted. Um, another nice thing about this is, let's say I added a new sprite. Let's say I added a soccer ball. I want that jumping or bouncing or whatever. Um, it would be pretty easy for me to take this right here and just put it into the soccer ball. And basically, that now makes that same block for the soccer ball. And I could, so I have define. So for the soccer ball, I could have it do the same thing. I could just use the new jump block. And oh, let's have a little fun. Let's have it repeat 10 times. And if I run it, there we go. It's going to keep on bouncing. So that is the idea of actually making your own block. Um, you have to define it. And then you can use it as many times as you want. Um, it can be very helpful for anything that you would use frequently. There you go. Hope you learned a little something.